Hello again. And in this video, we're going to go back to Lightroom. We're going to do a little bit more processing and we're going to have a look at a tool that's in Lightroom that enables you to enhance the iris, enhance the eyes on, uh, on a photograph. And it's a, just a really simple tool. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in, in a moment or so. But before I do that, please, if you enjoy these videos, Give us a thumbs up, give us two thumbs up. There's, uh, there's some comments down below and if you uh, want to see what else we're doing in the future, then hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified when, uh, when we release our next video. But in the meantime, let's get straight back into Lightroom and uh, do some editing. So here we are. We're gonna use this image here of, uh, of Danielle, which uh, we shot uh, a little while ago and uh, we just gonna have a, look, a quick look at Danielle's eyes. So let's just zoom into uh, to her eyes. Let's see if we can get them both on the screen. I'll just move that out of the way down there. There we go. And um, in this video, we just wanna lift these eyes a little bit. They're, they are quite great. It's a very colorful image of, uh, of Danielle this. And we just wanna maybe give these eyes just a little bit of enhancement. And there is a tool that allows us to do that in Lightroom. If you go to the develop module by hitting develop, and then we go over to the uh, adjustment rush, click that, and then there it is. If you look on the effect, then there is a whole bunch of these, and one of them is Iris Enhance. And when we click that, we can see on the sliders what it's actually doing. It's gonna push the saturation up a little bit. It's gonna push the clarity a little bit, and, uh, and just lift the exposures, just so to brighten those eyes up a little. So let's, let's have a quick look at uh, how to do this. Now, when we've got our brush there, and we can change our brush size by rolling our um, our mouse uh, our mouse wheel, we can just sort of paint in around there. Um, but you can't really see exactly what we're doing. These changes are quite subtle. Um, so the easiest way to do it, if you press the O key on your keyboard, then you'll get a little red mark. And basically, what you can do then is just go around the eye. Don't worry, don't, don't be too accurate. Maybe go a little bit smaller and just get it get it in there. Just roll it around where, where the eye is. And let's go to the side and do the same there. We're gonna roll all around the eye. We've got my finger on the mouse key, obviously, and we're just painting in around the eye all those, all those, all that redness. And that redness is basically a little, it just gives you a visualization of where of where you've painted. We want to make sure we get all the iris area in there, just around the edge there, perfect. Now, we've got over a little bit and you definitely don't want to be messing about with the pupil in the middle. So what we can do now is on, on this panel at the bottom, there is an erase button. So we're just going to get on the erase and we're just going to make our mouse a little bit smaller. And we're just going to roll around the inside of where that pupil is, just so we don't interfere with the pupil and once again just on, on this very edge there where I've gone over a touch let's just tidy that up a little bit same over here maybe just there where I went over at the top just in there there we go and then we'll roll around in the middle now this is a really simple technique for for iris for uh, iris and um once we've got that and we've got it roughly in the right area, obviously we don't want those red eyes and that, that, those, those eyes aren't red, that's just an overlay so we can see what we've done. Let's hit O and get rid of that. We've got, um, we've got Danielle's normal eyes back. Now, we can see the adjustments now. Now they are, they are quite subtle. Um, there's not a vast amount of color in these eyes. Um, we can change the saturation, sorry the exposure, lift those up. Um, Make them darker. Um, I'm going to probably leave it around about 0.3. Actually, that's a fair, a fair place for it to be. And, but one thing I, I sometimes like to do with the eyes is there's not a lot of colour in there and because it's a very colourful image. I think it'd be great to have a bit of colour in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the tint and maybe just going to just move the tint around, see what happens. So as I move it to the left, we can see those eyes, like those eyes are starting to go just a bit green. Now, there's a lot of green in this image, if you remember. Um, let's just uh, click on that and uh, come out. There's a lot of green in this image with, with her hair, um, particularly. So maybe we've made the eye sort of give her a little bit of a compliment to her hair, uh, to her hair now. And uh, let's have a look at the before and after. So there she is. That, that was the original image with um, 
with the, with the sort of darker eyes and now we've just got a hint of green in there make your own mind up whether you like that or not um, we can uh, we can zoom into one eye and we can see the before and after let's go back onto that adjustment brush and let's just click on the adjustment we made which is just there and maybe we'll go maybe we'll put the tint back to where it was and maybe we'll we'll, we'll change the color temperature and see if we can bring a bit of blue in there I don't want to put a lot of blue in there, but just a little bit of blue might uh, might just sort of lift it as well. well. Does that look any better, do we think? Let's let's just try that. And there's a lot of messing about, a lot of trial and error. I think that looks worse. Um, I think I prefer the green, actually. So I'm just going to go back. I'm going to select it again. I'm going to put the color temperature of that back to normal. I'm going to put a little bit of green in her eye. Okay, well, I think it's probably enough. But great. That's a lot. Actually, a lot of green there. Um, that's all the way on the tint and uh, yeah I think that kind of works so there's Danielle she's now got green eyes whereas before she did not um, obviously we, we in a previous video we've changed um, we've removed the the stud and there's a link up in the corner about uh, to, to show you how we did that and uh, yes yeah, so well Danielle's now got uh, a green eye that matches her hair rather than um, the color she had originally well, I hope you've liked that video. Um, if you have, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and please don't forget to subscribe because, you know, these Lightroom tricks are really quite simple, really quite quick, and uh, I hope you've, uh, you've, you've uh, enjoyed watching this video. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.